Hello beautiful people, it's Amber Simone and today I will be doing A Bad Case of Stripes by David Shannon. So this used to be one of my favorite childhood books and now that Halloween is here, I want to show you all how I'm going to achieve this bad case of stripes. If you don't follow me already, click subscribe, like and comment as well, but let's get started. So you see my hair is pretty voluptuous. Um, it's pretty out. I wanted this to be a natural version of a bad case of stripes, just so from my other curly girls who may want to attempt this for Halloween season. This is definitely curly girl friendly. So what I'm going to start with, um, I want to make sure my lips are hydrated. So I'm using this fresh um, lemon lip balm and I'm putting this on my lips. I'm just letting it sit because I will be putting face paint all over my face. So for these eyebrows, I have these alcohol swabs. They were like a dollar at Ralph's. So you just want to make sure all of that oil is out of your brows because your eyebrows will not stick down once the glue is applied. I really want to make sure everything is out of these brows. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. What number brush is this? I've had it forever. This is my go-to brush, but it's my eyebrow brush. I'm going to take the spoolie and go on and brush my eyebrows up. Now I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue. The purple one is the best one. Um, and actually the one that disappears. I tried another version and it was a clear glue. When I tell you my eyebrow just went like it was terrible, all that. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put on quite a few layers, at least two to three. If you have curlier eyebrows, you may wanna pack on more layers and just make sure that your eyebrows are sticking down. And don't worry about the extra glue around your eyebrows because we can just take another alcohol swab and get that together. All right, let's do layer number two. Same process, stroke, stroke, stroke. Amazing. And then take your clean fingers. I'm gonna wipe them again just because you know our body produces so many oils and I'm touching so many things. I'm just gonna take these little fingers stroke everything up okay it's only been like 30 seconds to a minute so I'm going to apply this last layer once you guys get a good look so I'm jumping in with my next alcohol swab just to clean up those edges and then after this I'm gonna use some setting powder and we're just gonna get this show on a road now I'm going in with my Sacha cosmetics this is the setting powder in Buttercup. And I'm taking this older sponge and I'm just gonna set my eyebrows. Next, I'm going in with my LA Girl. This is the color corrector in GC990. Just know it's the orange corrector. I don't think you need all the extra information. And I'm just gonna go on and put this on my brows. Okay, so now I'm going to put primer on my face. I'll be using my Bite Beauty. This is the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. Their products are amazing. Rub this into my skin. All right, and although my, although these watercolor paints say that they are very opaque, I'm going to color correct around my mouth and you see where a few of these dark spots are. Now to the fun part. I ordered this off of Amazon. The only reason I was like, I'm going to get this one. I know you guys have seen Maron or Maron paint. It is amazing paint. However, I have a lot of looks planned and I was like, let me get a cheaper watercolor paint um, or at least water activated um, face paint and body paint. So this is the one I ordered. It's Craft Pro, there's 16 colors in here. This is what it looks like here. Booyah. There's so many colors to choose from in here. And honestly, like I was looking at colors on Amazon and each one would be like 20 to $30. And I was like, I need like four, five, six colors this time. So I decided to go with this one. 
and this is my first time testing it out. I bought this myself, so let's get into it. So what I'm going to use is my Boy Brow from Benefit Cosmetics, and it's very faint, especially on my skin. So I'm just gonna use this to sketch a line across my face, bear with me. Probably gonna speed this part up because I need to be really precise about this right now, guys. start with my face and my face will decide if I actually do my body because I have a sweater that looks like a bad case of stripes but if this paint is as great as I think it's going to be then we're just gonna go with body paint okay so first I'm starting with this red activated paint red water activated so I'm just wetting my brush and now I'm going to dip this into the paint and get this color going. Guys, I'm a little nervous about these eyebrows, but let's see what happens. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do my body. I think I'm gonna have to go with the sweater route and call it a day <laughs> because we're actually heading to the studio to shoot this look and I gotta do my hair, I gotta put lashes on. I'm gonna do also do another um, layer of this paint. So I still have all this to do. I'm gonna go in with the blue and just keep it rolling. This orange is a little bit more difficult, even in the yellow. Wow. Okay, now for my brows. Okay, I had to switch locations because we are actually shooting in the studio behind me. This is FD Photo Studio. But I'm going in with my new Hocus Pocus Lip Duo. And this is in Sarah. It comes with both the lip liner and the lipstick, which they look like this here. So I'm gonna go on and line my lips. Now I'm gonna go on with my lipstick. friends is a bad case of the stripes all right y'all thank you for sticking with me through this bad case of stripes look this was really fun i'm gonna drop some after photos that we took at the shoot i can't wait to share with you all and i hope you guys can recreate this on your own so if you guys have suggestions for halloween looks hit me in the comments below but in the meantime subscribe to amber simone Love you. Peace.